Mylene Class admits she would drink before 11 a.m. amid humiliating Graham Quinn divorce. As spiraling finances and anxiety led to alcohol dependence, Mylene Class has explosively detailed how she developed a dependence on alcohol during her divorce from Graham Quinn in 2013. Speaking candidly to Kate Thornton and Tamsin Althwaite on Yahoo's White Wine Question Time podcast, she admitted her drinking would start before 11 a.m. and she would struggle without alcohol. In five-hour gaps, the 40-year-old former pop star, who shares Ava, 11, and Hero, 7, spoke about the humiliations she felt following the divorce and how she was struggling financially. Mylene wed Graham in an idyllic ceremony in October 2011, with just 16 guests in attendance. However their romance came to a crashing close six months after the wedding before they were granted a divorce two years later. Having always been candid about the acrimonious nature of the split, she has now opened up about the devastating impact the breakup had on her mental health. The star, who is now happily dating PR Simon Monson, said, I was doing breakfast TV and I went to get out the car and I thought, I can't, I was right in the middle of the divorce. And I opened the door and I couldn't get out the car. I couldn't breathe. Finances were spiraling because I thought, I'm going to lose everything. On the split, she said, the humiliation, you've got people looking at you, blaming you without a clue as to what the FK is going on. Lauren, Laverne, came and visited me at 4 in the morning, that's how low I was. I didn't want it, divorce, to define me but it did change me irrevocably. I've never ever been in the position where I've had to ask people for help. On her drinking, Mylene said, I remember waking up and thinking it's okay to have a drink at 11 a.m., because I hadn't had a drink in five hours. Mylene was thrown into financial peril after the split, as her reported pound 11 million fortune was put in jeopardy as she refused a prenuptial agreement. Speaking to the mirror after the split, she said of Graham, I married a convicted drug dealer and didn't sign a prenup. What was I thinking? When I say that sentence aloud, I realize how stupid it was. I just wish I had listened to my dad, my friends and everyone in the papers. Everyone could hear the alarm bells except me. I should have just opened my eyes. Despite her allegations, he took to Twitter to hit back saying, Thank you for once again slandering my name in the papers to promote yourself. It's frankly embracing and complete lies. At class, Mylene, I've stayed quiet for three years now, but enough is enough. Please explain to me how I took your money. I lost so much money from our divorce and our house that we bought together, and further money from fighting you over letting me be a father to my kids whom I haven't seen in over a year. Shameful. One day I hope you will put the interests of your children first and let them see their father. Instead of focusing on what lies you can tell to boost your career, 